I love you. Good to see you again. When Miss Dixon was putting this book together, she asked me. Now, I've been going out there, been on her for years. We talked about everything. And stuff, so. She asked me to write out a recipe that she could put in with these other country stocks. That's Tom T. Hall, Miss Dixie. This is me under leftovers. Well, I didn't go back to the mints. So the name of this recipe is called Stay Away from the Bridge, or Stay Away from the Mission, or Under the Bridge Good. And Miss Dixie writes a, a forward. Not for the weak of stomach, the following recipe is, nevertheless, for real. So is its contributor. Nashville songwriter, singer, author, animal lover, and homeless person. Jewel Tabor is a story of survival for Jewel and his dog Huzzy and is dedicated to the parent. This is a recipe. If you're fortunate enough to have a good secluded campsite down along the river and close to any grocery store of any size, then you can always find some grub thrown out in the trash. <laughs> Often found are bruised fruit and veggies. I especially like taters. Just cut away the bad parts and put them in a big pot or kettle. If you're without these utensils, uh, then I suggest a big coffee can or something of the like. If there's no game to snare and the river is too frozen, too much for fishing, then let me suggest going to where they sell steaks. Most any steakhouse will do. Round the back, they usually have a big dumpster. As it is, the dumpsters are emptied often enough so that the scraps of partially eaten steaks and sometimes even whole uneaten steaks are not too spoiled. Excuse me. Thus, hopefully, you won't get ill. A word of caution. Be sure to bang the lids of the dumpster so to scare away any rats or other uh, We'll also find lots of chopped veggies from salad and such often too with dressing still on. Sometimes you'll find lots of little old butter patties unused, but invariably there's coffee grounds stuck all over them, but not enough to make a cup of coffee. These tiny grounds can be picked off from the paddocks. Let me say here that coffee grounds are tasty in your lip, like snuff, or they're easily to chew. At least there's some coffee flavor. I didn't rob or steal or bum chump change or break anyway. Break in. I done what I had to do with this one. If you're using coffee cans to cook in, then most likely all you have is a good knife and nothing for silverware. That being the case, cut a small but strong green limb. This limb should have three or more limbs growing from one end and sharpened to a good point for stirring the bread. You see that? Be sure you boil the water from the river to purify it best you can before you place your hard-earned and sopped for grub in your receptacle to make your under-the-bridge stew grub. If you have no can of any size, then hopefully while you're grubbing through your favorite dumpster, <laughs> you'll find some tin full that might be used again. After building a good fire, Dig a small hole in the earth a ways from your big campfire and take some hot coals, put them in the hole, take the slightly used tin foil, wrap your veggies and meats along with the butter patties you may have, if any. Fold the foil tightly, lay this in the hole of glowing coals. Place more hot coals on top so as to sandwich the heat. 
Then place some of the dirt from the hole on top of that and wait. Soon all your labor of grubbing will fill your nostrils and soon your belly with your laborious efforts. There's wild onions to be found all year round, most anywhere, especially down along the river. Put these roots and all in your grub for some real good flavor. Mm -mm -mm. Hopefully you won't, hopefully this will sustain you until you can find work and do, do better for yourself. By the by, if you have any kind of difficulty finding grub and you're really, really hungry, then the wild onions can be eaten raw, roots and all. These will give little nourishment, but you won't know you're hungry, because the wild onions will kill the hunger pains and you'll live off your body fat. Be patient, add lots of love to your efforts, and you can no doubt survive. Just don't give up. And Miss Dixie closes. Oh, I, I read. Dear Miss Dixie, this may not be what you had in mind, but these are the facts of my grub re recipe and the best meal I can think of. Bless you. And Miss uh, Dixie. Uh, yes, P.S. Thank you, Mr. Tom T., for Huzzy's operation. Got it fixed. 